a popular vacation spot off limits to pregnant women. The CDC issued a travel advisory for part of Miami after Florida confirmed more cases of the Zika virus. And now there are new concerns about whether the mosquito that carries the virus could return to the Bay Area. Reporter Kit Doe is live in Menlo Park where that specific type of mosquito was found just last year. Kit? Yeah, we're live here at the Holy Cross Cemetery where just 14 months ago they found dozens of these critters, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, right in this particular neighborhood. Vector control guys have been keeping an eye out for this mosquito ever since then. If they find it again, they're ready to pounce. Aedes aegypti is one of the primary carriers of the Zika virus. Several dozen were found between 2013 and 2015 in Menlo Park, but after an aggressive eradication campaign, San Mateo County Vector Control haven't seen them since May of last year. How confident are you that it is no longer in the county? We can't be completely sure. Um, this mosquito could be reintroduced to any of our neighborhoods at any time. So it could be that it's being reintroduced somewhere else and we haven't found it yet. It could be that it's not here at all. Today, Florida reported 10 new cases of Zika from mosquito transmissions, bringing the total up to 14. And now the CDC is issuing a travel advisory telling pregnant women to stay away from the affected one square mile neighborhood north of downtown Miami. And for pregnant women who live or work in that area to do everything possible to prevent mosquito bites. What's more, anyone who's been to an affected area and the more than 50 countries and territories around the world with active Zika transmissions are being asked to use mosquito repellent for at least three weeks when they come home. The idea? To keep you from transferring Zika to the local mosquito population. That's especially critical in these parts of the Bay Area. Menlo Park, Atherton, and Hayward, where Aedes aegypti has been found. What do you want to tell that person who says, I hate wearing repellent, it's annoying, it stinks, um, I'm not going to do it? It's important that people go ahead and do the right thing, wear your insect repellent, stay covered up with long sleeves and pants, whatever you need to do to avoid mosquito bites when returning from these areas. Aedes aegypti bite at all hours of the day and won't hesitate to follow you into your house. The females can lay huge numbers of eggs in very small amounts of water. And if you've traveled to an affected area, do your part and spray up. Because okay, that's how we help each other. Yeah, it's, it's important to keep your whole community healthy. And so vector control have traps all over the county. They are closely monitoring it. In fact, they examine every single mosquito that they catch under a microscope. So far, no Aedes aegypti. We're live in Menlo Park.